shit. Yang, is it possible to have an extension? I, no, I, I have my presentation ready. It's just my laptop just started updating. No, it's, it's never done this before. I, I don't, I mean, I, I, I guess I could just, uh, just go without my PowerPoint or, uh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll just, um, <clears throat> okay, yeah, uh, here I go. <laughs> okay, um, so uh, imagine there's like a, a picture of the person on the poster, uh, you know, the one with Liv Ullman kind of like pulling B.B. Anderson's face back. Mm -hmm. uh, and above that, it says Persona, 1966. Uh, and, and below that, it says Film Studies 101. Uh, it, it says Dr. Yang. Huh? Oh, I, I just... Well, there was a whole slideshow. Uh, but I'll, I'll just tell you about it. <clears throat> So I picked the Swedish psychological drama Persona, written and directed by Ingmar Bergman. That's Ingmar, not Ingrid Bergman. She's from <laughs> Casablanca. It's no relation. Uh, anyway, so uh, it's about an actress who goes mute and this nurse who is taking care of her. And they go to this remote house and, well, it, it gets... <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> it's sort of an experimental film. Uh, but the thing I want to talk about is like identity. So there's a Swiss psychiatrist named Carl Jung. I, I think I'm saying that right. Jung. <laughs> and uh, he has this idea. Um, sorry, my, my, my notes are on my laptop. Uh, well, the word persona is actually a Latin word, and it means mask. So Carl Jung has this theory. Uh, we all have a persona, the, the face we show the world, uh, but it's really a mask, hiding who we truly are. <laughs> so Ingmar Bergman was really into this idea, and it, it makes sense because this is actually really interesting. Uh, he was a, a kid in the 1930s, and he was like totally into Hitler. And so with Persona, I should explain the Hitler thing, I guess. Um, when Bergman was a teenager, he went to Germany for the summer and he ended up at this Nazi rally and he was like so into it. Like, <laughs> I mean, Hitler was a really good public speaker. And uh, teen Bergman was like a total you know, fanboy for Hitler. And, and, and then Hitler, you know, became Hitler. And Bergman was like, holy shit. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, Dr. Yang. He was like, oh, dang. I was like, totally into Hitler. And if I were German, I might have like been a young Nazi, which, you know. Anyway, so... Bergman got really into this idea of the persona, that we wear these masks so people don't think we're jerks or, or whatever, but underneath, we could be Nazis. <laughs> uh, I'm not explaining it right. Uh, so like, for example, uh, let's say, uh, let, let, let's say you and your boyfriend break up uh, and he starts dating this other girl. And so you have to tell people like, oh yeah, she's so great. I, I hope they're happy. But like, no, you don't hope your ex is happy. <laughs> like, I'm a forgiving, nice person. But if he starts living his best life after we break up, <laughs> Come on! <laughs> don't we all like that? You know, don't we don't we all want our ex-boyfriends to grow up to be losers with loser <laughs> jobs and loser kids and, 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 and a loser dog? But we're all forgiving, nice people. 
on the outside. So, like, the main character of the movie, her name is Alma, which actually means soul. So, you have the persona, the outside, and then the true soul. Make sense? Uh, so in the movie, Alma looks on the outside like this chill, well-behaved nurse, but then she has this like crazy sexual secret. It, it gets pretty <laughs> weird, honestly. <laughs> uh, most of us probably aren't hiding something as like dramatic as, as that, but uh, like, back to the ex-boyfriend example. Uh, <laughs> say your boyfriend starts dating wallpaper. Well, not literally. <laughs> well, okay. Sometimes I call my ex's new girlfriend wallpaper. <laughs> but she really has, like, so much in common with wallpaper. Like, <laughs> like if you were to walk into a, a room with her, you'd look at the couch, look at the TV, <laughs> other decor. You probably wouldn't notice her. <laughs> I mean, if someone said like, hey, look at this wallpaper, you might see she isn't bad looking. <laughs> you know, she might, might even be beautiful. I mean, <laughs> if the lighting is right and the other more alluring <laughs> furniture is removed. <laughs> but for the most part, she's just kind of there, <laughs> stuck on the wall. You know, she isn't even an interesting wallpaper. She's beige. But in, in the film, Bergman uses this idea to, um, he uses this idea to, Hold on, I, I should say, it's not just about her looks, okay? Her personality fits the name <laughs> wallpaper too. It, it isn't offensive, just unremarkable. She doesn't say much, she doesn't do much. She's just forgettable, ignorable. Honestly, I have nothing against being in a room with wallpaper. She doesn't bite. But if you left me in a room with nothing but wallpaper, I'd probably paint over her out of sheer boredom. And honestly, who is this? <laughs> so, like, that's an example of something a person probably shouldn't say. <laughs> you know, Carl Jung calls that disintegration. <laughs> a crack in the mask you're supposed to wear. Like in the movie. Disintegration. Like how it feels to be dumped for wallpaper. <laughs> and um, next is uh, negative restoration. Um, and that's where you try and patch up your, <laughs> your social reputation, um, <laughs> which is what I would be doing if I really like actually felt that way about my boyfriend, ex-boyfriend's girlfriend. Um, but that was an example, like in the film. I mean, no one in the film has a boyfriend. There's, there's actually a, a lot of like lesbian themes. <laughs> I just, they, they do have mental breakdowns. <laughs> like I said, it's experimental. <laughs> so that's my presentation on Jungian theory in Ingmar Bergman's film, Persona. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Woo! 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 Woo!